all right ladies and gentlemen we meet again so let us quickly look at this one so let us quickly look at this one so this is engineering drawing entry under the topic of perspective drawing perspective drawing so unfortunately i don't have the question and we understand so this it will be an answer sheet prepared for you when you read the instruction even the instruction of question five it will be like answer question five on the what on the well prepared drawing sheet on the well prepared drawing sheet for you so they are actually talking about this one so it is well prepared for you this is the top view this is my right view so prepared for me i don't even have to uh, mind about redrawing them you understand so there will be a small annual information uh, given for you there there will be like a uh, such as dimension of a, a, a sp stationary point you see that we have to get this a point somewhere there by the name by the name sp you understand so that sp distance in front of picture plane they will be like the distance of an eye in front of picture plane is so and so it will be given but for Fandag, I don't have it. But in most of the time, it used to be 100 millimeter. You understand? And we are used to have a center vision point somewhere there. A center vision point and the distance from a picture plane, PP, uh, going down to HL. It used to be 20 millimeter. You understand? When you, you check that one in your textbook, engineering drawing textbook, they will tell you clearly what is 20 millimeter. You understand? Where is it? Is it far? Let me see. Yeah, I think I have it. Mm -hmm. So let's quickly go to. Yeah, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Yes, you see what I'm talking about. You see, so this is the two point perspective. You see, picture plane. Uh, so the, your top view is uh, is lying against what your your is actually on top of your line picture plane. This is the top view. This is your right view. You understand? So if it's is at this uh, uh, side, if it's at this side, which means is your top and your left. You understand? So in this case, it's a top and the front. When you go to your isonometric, you remember what we used to be given two. Or three views when we are doing isometric so the main view it used to be front it used to be a front and the top front and the left front and the right sometimes the three of them and a sensor but here in this <coughs> in this one we we used to be given a top as a main instance as a main view it should be a top and the right or a top with the left like for instance in this case we are given the top and the what and the right so that's not the case so the case is here like as i was saying that you see that we we used to be given the what the 20 millimeter especially grade 10 11 12 this one it will be given but when you come to tibet universities they like to do it like this so the horizontal line and horizon, uh, horizontal line and the picture plane they are actually in the same point so it's not a problem you understand so you'd be told that the distance of an eye in front of picture plane is so and so that distance of an eye in front of picture plane is going to give you what a stationary point you understand so now the, your very first thing that you have to do take out this answer sheet inside it will be inside your drawing sheet I mean it so you simply take it out then you align it in your drawing table or your drawing board you understand like for instance mine I've already aligned it everyone it's already aligned you understand so now the very first line that I'm gonna draw I'll project this point a vertically down faint you understand so that a i'll be now saying is right there this is my first derivative of a you understand so now the distance of an eye in front of picture plane let's say is 100 millimeter like as they used to give so i'll take my watch my 30 millimeter ruler and record that 100 millimeter so there is my 100 millimeter everyone so let me just push, push it just a little bit there is my 110 millimeter 
So the hundred millimeter is giving me what stationary point. So mark it like this. Don't draw a horizontal line. I've seen student confusing that, especially now when they are taking lines, they'll end up taking even this. So this point is what is S P stand for stationary point. You understand? So now the second the second uh, step that I can do now i will take uh, this okay maybe even before let me explain this maybe someone is new here so the law of 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 what of a, a perspective drawing it say construct all the points direct them toward to your stationary point so we are going to take all the points that are necessary we direct them toward two stationary points once they catch the uh, 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 once they touch your what your your picture plane they are supposed to be projected vertically down. Are we together? Let me repeat that. We take all the points right from our top view. We take it to, we direct them toward to stationary point. Once they touch our picture plane, they become vertically down. You understand? Again, we take all the points, points right from our left view or right view. We direct them once they touch the line of A, B, uh, this vertical line of yours of A, A, S, P, A, S, P. Once they touch, they must go to vanishing point of your right hand side and vanishing point of your left hand side. So simple, straightforward. You understand? So I normally used to say you have to be very strong in what in as in in isometric. You understand? When I teach a uh, drawing entry, I will have to teach you isometric first. After isometric, I can then introduce uh, this one. You understand? So, so now let us uh, get uh, the, our vanishing points. You understand? Let us get our vanishing point. So now, to get the vanishing point, we have to firstly check the 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 line AP is vanishing at which angle. So, and these two angles, when we add this angle and this one, they must give us ninety degrees. If if line a b is vanishing at an angle of 45 which means this one is supposed to be 45 are we together so that you get what a 90 degree there so if you say 45 plus 45 it gives you a 90 degrees if a b is vanishing at an angle of 60 which means automatically this one is going to be at an angle of 30 you understand so now let's figure them out and where is my set square so line AB, so you see what is not angle 60. So it is actually not angle 60 and it's not angle 30. So which means you forget about this one. So aut no, automatically it should be like angle 45. You understand? So this line that we are taking now, we want to get a vanishing point. So it's supposed to be constructed right from your stationary point. So which means we cannot get our vanishing point before we get what before we get the uh, uh, the sp after the we've gotten the sp then you can get our vanishing point understand so once it cross there is going to be my vanishing point of my left hand side so there that one is vanishing point of my right hand side do not left hmm? Sometimes I confuse left and right. <clears throat> so then this line is parallel to AB. So uh, tip talk guys, sorry, uh, some of your comments, I cannot be able to uh, go through them because I'm focusing on the paper other than on the screen, you understand? So sorry for that. So let's continue. So line AB is parallel to this one, you understand? So now automatically this one is going to be the very same angle since this one was 45 we set this angle and this one when we add them they must give us 90 degrees 45 plus 45 is giving you 90 degrees so now we are looking for vanishing point of vanishing point of our left hand side so which means i can extend this one just a little bit so that point is vanishing point of my left hand side. Please name them like this. 
you understand so from there you throw away this one you throw away this one you take your 30 millimeter ruler so now you are going to take your first derivative of a you vanish it to your left hand side there you go faint so far whatever we've drew is faint and how do you draw a faint line you hold your pencil like this then you pull when you draw you pull you don't push you understand you pull so now let's vanish the first derivative point of point a to our vanishing point of our right hand side so there you go faint all together then from there <coughs> we can then take point B we've already have point A we set all the points from our top view you you project them vertically down once they touch picture plane they become vertically down isn't it so that is why automatically point A was already there because it's actually touching what the picture plane so now take point B you direct it toward to stationary point please don't stop here don't stop here yeah. i've seen student uh they'll be like you know yes i've directed it to stationary point but i can stop there to avoid confusion on my solution here yeah. you uh, like that you'll be limiting remember you'll be limiting yourself remember we answer using constructional line that is why sometimes they would be like leave your work with what with those constructional line because you are answering a question to somebody that it doesn't know you understand so they must see what okay this was drawn step wisely you understand so if we just come with a solution with with no constructional line or half done you understand they will penalize you, you understand so now once they touch picture pen i can go vertically down you understand so i normally used to say in mathematics we answer using what numbers you guys were watching mathematics just like now no no with my 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 fellow colleagues isn't it so his lesson is over some of you you were you were their life with him isn't it so you guys were busy with numbers now we are busy with lights yeah yeah you understand so now so if i take this point b once it touch picture plane goes vertically down so which means that point b it should be now right there so this is going to be the first derivative of a and when we we want to trace this a and b that are, are, are marked there by our two view we want to see where are they going to be there by our right view so if i have a a so there by my right view this a it should be right here so you remember in isolometric they'll be like let point a to be your to be your lowest point or point a p to be your lowest point that's the point they are talking about so if this one is right here so the p it will auto uh, automatically be there the second derivative of point b you understand so now i can have this point duck with that your favor duck so this is my a which is that one there by our right view is right here you understand so if i go up which means i have to take this distance remember in this topic we do not record dimension they've given us we don't even have to know what from here till how high is it supposed to be from here till how long is it supposed to be you understand we don't even have to we just construct right from the well prepared information for us you understand so now i want us to move right from the back from here till there it's a height isn't it from here till that point is a height so i want to get to this height here so how i'm going uh, am i going to do that i'll take this height point that i'm looking for i take it there you go faint isn't it once it touch this vertical line of mine the line of a and uh, sp once it touch that line of mine so i'll vanish it to my right hand side and vanish it to my left hand side so i'm drawing what is i'm sitting so so there it is so now if i want to move from here till there there it goes want to touch there it goes to my vanishing point which means the true height it will be that one you understand so now i can draw it dark 
I can draw it dark. You understand? So now, this is the new point. It's already behaving, existing in my vanishing point of my right hand side. So I have to take it to, to my vanishing point of my left hand side. If you are strong in isonometric, you are, you, you will clearly understand what am I doing if I'm, I'm taking this point to van both vanishing points. You understand? So from there, if I'm at that extent, let's go back to our top view. So this is the upper surface which means is this one so why is this one hidden why is this one from here till here is not hidden it is solid from there till the hidden okay which means uh this <coughs> excuse me this hidden one actually talks about this analyze it clearly actually talks about this one because this is the top view if i'm i, I will come and view this top view on on this direction i'm going to see something of this nature you understand so that is why this one is sitting okay so now which means without fear or favor i can have this point because i want to get uh, to see what is happening here so i can take this point to my uh, to my stationary point isn't it there you go once it touch picture plane goes vertically down so there you go you, you understand so now which means this one I can draw it dark dark from here to right there you understand so I take this one to my vanishing point of my left hand side every time you get a point you have to take it to both vanishing points even if even if it's not going to give you anything you understand so now let's see let's see what is going to happen now because i wanted to get the the i wanted to get to see what is happening on this upper surface which is that one but then let's go back to our starting point let's get this one from there till there which means i'll take this point horizontally which is this one there you go and to touch this line vertical spa i take it to my boy to vanishing points vanishing points of my left hand side and vanishing point of my right hand side you understand faint then from there from here till there is solid which means with that feel favor i will have this one solid from here till right there you understand so now this point is that one eh? so i see a line coming this side from here till the this distance which means i'll have to what i'll have to take this one i'll have to go and take this point this one was this point in our top view when we, we are tracing this point there by our right view is this one so I'll go and take this point to my stationary points once it touch there it can go vertically down i wanted us to do about two drawings to that so now i can have this one dark nice. so now this is the new point is already existing there by our Vanishing point of our right hand side, take it to a vanishing point of your left hand side. There you go. Anyone. Then after we you have gotten that, trace it nicely, clearly and understandable there by your right view. So this point is that one, this one is that one. So I, I see a vertical upgoing line, isn't it? So I'm looking for that one. So consider it as well how like this take it to the vertical line i normally call it spcv because we used to have center vision there center vision there but in this case our center vision is actually in the same point with what with the the point of our top view on top of the line of of picture plane pp okay now so this is the new point take it to what to your vanishing point of your left hand side there you go and vanishing point of your right hand side 